Hello everyone, this is Prey Scooter, and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. We got very distracted last time and went the opposite direction of Cockerico Village, but now we should be right back on track here. And welcome back. So this is right about where we're at right now, map-wise, there you go. We're basically right at the point where Hestu was, and this is where we got his maracas back. So with that knowledge under both your and my belt, let's proceed down this path proper. What is down here, one might ask? Why, it's our actual quest that I ran away from because I am full of dumb. I am 9300% dumb. With three Bs. Actually, well, I'm going to break my shield doing this, but whatever. Damn it, not enough. Yes, yes, you're terrifying. You're the scourge of the earth. I get it. Hey, let's get yourself a Korok Seed. So these are some other puzzles we'll get. These will get much more complicated the further on you get in the game. Like, in terms of general, your ability to, ex your ability to explore the world later on in the game. But basically, you just gotta find the two similarities in the two puzzles and put the block in to make it work. That's it. Simple as can be. Come here, frog. And at the end of this tunnel, oops, let's, uh, actually get bombs. At the end of this long winding road, after I collect my reward. Well, first off, your radar's gonna go, hey, shrine, hurry, shrine, hey! Shrine. Boop. Huh. Just a frog. I'll take it, though. At the end of this, well, markings will look a little familiar here to longtime Zelda fans, and things will finally make some sense around here. Hold up. That's a different beetle. Is that a gold beetle? Uh, when cooked in monster parts, it imp its impressive vitality translates to elixir. Stamina st st elixirs. And here is Kakariko Village. It's a little more... It's a little more eastern, well, yeah, I'll say eastern, eastern themed location rather than outside of what it's been at most times, but hello. Are you okay? Are you okay, Nana? Yes. Well, you see, I... I killed a man. You're next. You are a hero of legend. Okay, where is she? And then, very simply, they'll say, Hey, go over there to the big ornate house in the distance. Anyway. So we will be able to eat meat, Lady Impa. But something that I will recommend you do is, well, A, talk to this child. I believe this one. Oh, that's not the, that's not the child. You want to head up here to where all your beeping's coming from, and you will be greeted by a shrine. Correct. I'm gonna skip this. This is actually those are actually getting really long-winded. <laughs> but yes, you are greeted by a shrine, and simply takes the, the, the shrine's fairy downward. Now I believe this particular trial is fairly simple. Let's see, oh yes, it's a combat one, so it is simple. I am Taro Na Naig. 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 I like eggs. Tello, are you okay? I like eggs. Don't just just ignore him. Anyway, oh, well, I know how to solve this conundrum really fast. Let's drop one of these. Let's drop one of these Boko shields and equip this one that will have the same defense as this one we're about to pull out the chest. So, in here you get yourself a free shield, 
And you get also get yourself you get yourself a free decent shield, I should mention. You also get yourself a nice sword. And those are what they expect you to use to take on this. Now we are very far in the game. I would like to also mention that this guardian is white. This is this is a painful for someone like me who has played the game already and already knows the ins and outs, but this is basically the game saying, hey, let's teach you how to combat. But basically, it's teaching you the end of combat that if you that if you dodge an enemy's attacks at just the right way, you actually get yourself a little bit of time to strike back. Yes, yes, I know how to backflip. Oop, messed, messed it up. Thank God this thing does do a lot of damage. Nope, stop, 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 stop. You can repel and attack your parry with the shield just the right time. Alright, well, let me press B to put this back. So we kind of know about this parry command. But yeah, with the, with the parry command, which I don't use very often myself, build up your power and release it to unleash charge attack. Every weapon has a different kind of charge attack. Which basically hold the Y button. Bup, 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 bup. Give me that sword. And give me your bits. And that's it. Now proceed into my chamber and learn the ways of God damn it. I spilled the coffee beans once again. <clears throat> anyway, inside of here, get yourself an opal. That's a nice chunk of change for yourself. Also, how much money are we sitting on? Yeah, 140. Decent. We can use that to uh, buy some stuff. Now, I do recommend that if there are items to buy, you buy them. If you happen to find the items on the field first, cool. We're about to buy, basically, the pants. We're about to basically buy the, uh, the armor that matches our pants and another set of armor. But, that diamond we're going to sell, by the way, but we have large money. But back outside now, we get, hello? What are you doing up here, child? Okay, you have fun. Well, but yes, in Concrete Village. Now, unfortunately, you can't do anything else out here until you go to Impa's house. Or you can bank a hard left back this way towards the, the armor shop. So... If you notice, we have these pants. We want this. We want that tunic, and the collar we can do without. But I'll probably pick it up regardless. We also want this over here. <laughs> yes. Yes, I know. Very little stealth. But oh my God, the money it costs! Oh my God, the money it costs! How can we ever afford it? We have gems. I, will, I wish to sell some things. Primarily, well actually, this gets into something else. I'm going to, well you can see we can sell some gemstones for, sort. We can sell some of our gemstones for a high commodity. I'm going to say right now, go ahead and sell, until you have 10 of each, until you have 10 of the lowers. And if it comes down to it, go ahead and sell your, go ahead and sell your diamond, but Something I will definitely recommend you do is sell until you have 50 of your monster parts, like the Bokoblin Horns. Yes, it's only three. I understand. It is only three bits piece. But three times 36, 108. That's money. But don't... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reiterate, yes, this is good money here in these springs and gears and whatnot. 
Do not sell these for now. Please learn from my mistakes. Anyway. Let me go ahead and buy up. So, I don't think I have enough money still. But, I will buy a majority of it. Yeah, I'm probably going to need to sell my diamond and some other stuff. So, let's sell... You know what? Let's leave ourselves with one of these bigger gems. So... Now, another way you can make money, and the re and I don't know why I haven't done this, but another way you can make some money is you can sell... is you can uh, sell meals you cook back to people, back to shops. Let's see, I'll take this. Now, mine is the stealth set here, and any part of the stealth set. Basically, you want to buy yourself just enough, you want to get yourself, you want to basically buy gear, so you will be the most armored you can possibly be. And I'm just buying this because it's here, and money. But man, this first shop drains out so much money. So basically, starting out here, unless you want to go for stealth strikes and everything, equip yourself so you have the best armor possible for the most part. This is definitely true of me because of how I play the game. So basically, as of right now, this is how it will look for quite some time. Solid 9 armor. So our own weapon would only deal like 2 damage to us, if that. Now, hold on, before we proceed over to that fountain, there is... oops. There is a thing here. Hello, sirs, I will trouble you in just a second for your advice, but first, a Korok lives in your village. I have rooted him out. Kill him. Kill him for my amusement. Anyway, give me all this, and let's head over to the shrine back here. So even a place like Kakariko, major towns will always have a shrine that you can stop at and return your spirit orbs. Now we have enough stamina to the point where I'm comfortable in the game. So these next two upgrades are going to be heart containers. This also gets me into something that I would recommend for most players of this game. That you will probably want to aim for, but don't make it like your divining rod of what to do is... My recommendation is you want to get one stamina upgrade for every five to ten, well, five to ten hearts you have. First one being uh, ten hearts. <laughs> yes, please. So there we go. We now have a lovely five hearts. We can breathe a little easier and be a little more carefree with our combat because we don't die instantly. And on my screen... Basically, if, I, if my hearts ever go below that red record button, I need to be worried. We'll talk to this guy later, but first off, sirs, a conversation, if I may. What? I've done nothing wrong. Yes. I am. I hope so. Of course we heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. I hope you've learned your lesson. Now I'm going to waltz my ass up these stairs. I'm go- what's that? Yeah, waltz. And- oh, hello. Hi, miss. A woman! Geek! Gaz, what an impasse! Uh, y yes? L yes, I'm Lee Lee, I'm, I'm Lin Lin. <laughs> uh, try harder. There you go. Good job, Paya. You're cute, but you need the, that confidence boost.
please hurry inside. Well, don't mind if I do, Paya. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Who? Oh. What is the matter? You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. Is it? It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name. So you have lost your memory. Well, matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dear Slink, please come a bit closer. You got gra grandma, can grandma candy? I like grandma candy. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I've been waiting one hundred years to deliver the princess's message. However... These words, which just risked your life to leave you. Well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. I, I, I died twice getting here. Did, did, did that count? But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you're still without your memory. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Ball. What ball? <laughs> okay. The words the princess risked her life to impart to you. I cannot pass them on someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life? <laughs> For the greater good, huh? He's like a Link's like a paladin. Not a memory to your name, yet you are intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice at your side. Once you have, ch you have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Very well. Since you've lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. 
The divine beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of ten thousand years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Divine beasts? I wasn't paying attention. The four divine beasts are an ancient Sheikah weapon wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. These beasts... Vadra Rudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Vamedo, controlled by Revali of the Rito. The Divine Beast Varuta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora. And the Divine Beast Vana Boris, controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. Yeah. It would be extremely advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beast to help. You must infiltrate the Divine Beast that, stole, that was stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. For more information about the Divine Beast, can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. <laughs> that was eloquent if I do say so myself. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go to where it tells you and meet each leader there. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hateno might be able to help you. Hateno? The place we were starting to go to when they had to double back away. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hateno Village. It is a small village, one of the well, very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You could not turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Thank you. I will do so. So that's where we need to go next. So we're not quite at that point where we, where we tear apart our side. Hi, Paya. Now I'm going to go outside and check on something. Because I think at this point, we are introduced to the side quests of this world. Hello. Uh, is it? I don't think we actually. I don't think we actually do these quite yet. So we have now been introduced to our next set of tasks, which is to head towards Hateno. 
But I am going to tackle that next time. So I'm going to... In between videos, I'm going to do my amiibo shuffle to restock on some supplies. Basically is to make sure I can actually progress through the game without having to run around and hunt out things. Next time, when we when the video starts up, we'll be right here at Kamorog. And we'll basically head out and over to Tateno from there. Anyway. I don't know if this is the beginning or the end of an episode, but everybody, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, have a great rest of your day. Take care.